Well, Bao is going to be mad, but guys, long story short, I am still short AMC. I'm making another $230,000 on this short right here. Wow. Let me cover some of this short. Give me a second, guys. Let's cover some at 3801. Covering, cover some at 3801. I am up about $700,000 now. As you can see by the title of this video, this is my single biggest day of my entire trading career. I have been trading for about seven years now, seven years now to get to this point of making a half a million dollars in one day, which is, I made a house. I, 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 I literally can't believe it. I'm, I'm in shock, right? And I kind of want to walk you guys through my process. I kind of want to walk you guys through everything. want to let you guys know where I was last week, this week, and then, you know, we will recap the diamond hands trade on AMC. Thank you to the AMC Reddit diamond hands people. So let's start off with how this move happened. And then we're going to start uh, going into the cycles, right? So in January, guys, in January of 2021, GameStop and AMC went crazy. This was a message board, bulletin board style pump where all these Wall Street bets people were buying out of the money call options. And basically, I don't want to overcomplicate things. You could look up Gamma Squeeze on Google. But basically what they were doing is they were buying these way, way, way out of the money options. If the stock was trading at 50, they were buying options at 100, 200, 300. And what that does is it forces options call sellers to buy the stock to hedge their position. This is all very complex stuff. But what you have to realize here is it causes a domino effect, right? So in January, these stocks jumped up and then they tanked back down. I would say about 50% of the people that were involved in January probably dumped their positions. I went to the club in Miami and the bottle girl had AMC. The bathroom guy had AMC. My boy Dan's, his doctor had AMC, right? My cousin had AMC back then and they didn't know what they were buying. They were just buying something for the sake of buying it. And what ended up happening is after January, these stocks dropped 50%. Most people unloaded their shares. Most people got out of it. And that was it. You know, I would say 99% of the time a setup like that happens, 99% they do not rebound. They never come back. I've been doing this seven years and maybe out of the seven years, the thousands of stocks that I've traded, thousands, maybe one or two have come back. So there's a 99% chance these stocks don't come back. Okay. Now let's fast forward to last week, right? Last week, for whatever reason, AMC started running. I think they had news that they finished out their offering. And because they finished out their offering, the stock started to ramp up and start to go higher. If you look at the chart, there is a daily chart breakout around $20. So what ended up happening is every single person that sold AMC in January that lost 50% of their money, they started feeling FOMO. They're like, shit, if I just held, I would have made money. If I just held, I would have made money. This is going to the moon. This is going to GameStop, okay? And what ends up happening is those people that missed out and sold started buying it again. Now a new inflow of demand started coming in the door. Okay, while that new demand was coming in the door, we also had the same thing that happened on GameStop. All these people are buying way, way, way out of the money options. So last week, they were all buying, the stock was at like $18, $19. And they were buying the 30 calls and the 39 calls, right? So technically, what that means is, excuse me, what that means is the faster that that stock gets to that call level and breaks above it, the faster those people that sold those calls need to buy the stock to hedge themselves and protect themselves. So the major thing was the $30 calls last week, okay? And on Friday, on AMC last Friday, we had a first red day setup. So the stock ran from $20 to I think it was like $33 or $30 on Thursday. So 20 to 30, okay? 20 to 30 on Thursday. Thursday, it opened up, it hit 35, and it started to make its way back down. I think the red to green level last week was 26.27. So in MIC last week, we nailed the first red day setup on AMC, right? Stock was continuing higher, and we needed to remember, there was a lot of helpful commentary on Twitter mentioning that those $30 calls, 
the market makers would want them to go under $30 so that they could win their bet. Again, guys, this is all very complex stuff that you don't really have to worry about. You just have to understand that there's something bigger going on here than just the Wall Street bets people, okay? So we had an amazing first red day set up on Friday. Last Friday was my brother's birthday, so I was actually trading it while we were on like a yacht party. So I did really good. I had a six-figure day. It was awesome. Now, fast forward to Monday. The stock closed red at $26. Monday, for whatever reason, they started gapping it up again. Okay, now we're going through something different. Usually after a first red day setup, the stock tanks and goes back down. And this specific first red day setup, the next day, it should not bounce as big as it does. It was Tuesday because Monday was Memorial Day. Sorry. So on Tuesday, it should not bounce and reclaim the previous day's highs, right? So long story short, the same thing happened again. Now all those people that bought the $30 calls that went to zero, they're like, you know what? I'm down, but I'm not out. I'm going to keep buying. And then stock was at $30 on Tuesday. The uh, $40 calls, the $50 calls, the $60, $70 calls, they were buying and buying and buying. And remember, the previous day's highs on Friday was $35. So technically, if this breaks above $35 this week, it is, again, bullish. Those option sellers that were selling those $50 calls now are buying the stock at 40, 45, and 50 to be able to hedge themselves against the $70 calls coming up, right? So this was all kind of a domino effect of option sellers getting squeezed out of their positions. The Wall Street bets people were making thousands and thousands of percent return on these options. But if I know them, they're not selling ever because they think it's going to go to $100,000 a share. Okay, no problem. So fast forward to what happened yesterday, right? So yesterday, uh, these stocks looked like they were weak, right? They topped out pre-market, they went back down, and it looked like the bounce was failing, okay? And truth be told, guys, I talked to a lot of traders, I talked to a lot of people, and a lot of people lost a lot of money yesterday, okay? And the reason why uh, a lot of people lost a lot of money yesterday is because they were oversized. They were a day early. Because remember, guys, the same first red day setup that worked last Friday is what we are stocking for it to work again today, okay? So we're basically waiting for these stocks to go red and trigger a domino effect of uh, selling. We want not only the hedge funds that uh, hedge their positions with longs to sell, we want those option sellers to keep fucking selling their contracts, and we want long bias traders to start taking their profits and shorts to be comfortable shorting, right? So fast forward to yesterday, a lot of people lost a lot of money. Everyone was early. And, you know, at MIC, we don't shy away from our losses. We like to share everything. And yesterday, Bao had a losing day. Bao lost, I say, like $30,000 yesterday, which Bao never loses. Bao has probably been, I swear to God, on a four-month win streak. On that four-month win streak, I'm sure he made 10 times more than he lost. But, okay. So what I remind myself, guys, is max pain for these short sellers and max, like being as nervous as possible, is the signal that the top is near. So the fact that Bao got squeezed yesterday. Oh, BlackBerry just went red? Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I can't. All right. Forget that. BlackBerry, this shit is going to go to $13, man. And AMC is going to go to $30. Jesus Christ, that is literally insane. Okay, anyway. So Bao, when Bao loses money, guys, usually it's the signal that the top is near. because. That is when shorts are at the maximum amount of pain, and that is when they are at the maximum amount of risk. So I told Bao, you are down, but you are not out yesterday. You better show up today because you are going to make your loss back. So let's now fast forward to what happened today, okay? So last week was the first red day setup that happened, and now this week, we are patiently waiting for the stock to go red so we could capitalize on this. This first red, red day setup is a setup that Bao has been using for 10 years to be profitable. Uh, this setup is my biggest money-making setup in existence. I make money, the most amount of money, on two setups. The first red day and sympathy plays. When you combine a first red day on a sympathy play, that is when I bulldoze in, okay? So I've been waking up very, very extremely early, guys, because I don't want to miss it. 
it could come at any moment of the day. It could come at 7 a.m. It could come at 2 p.m. It could come at 10 a.m. I don't know when it's going to come, but when it comes, I want to be there. So I've been waking up at 5 a.m. every single day like a crackhead, like a madman, like an insane lunatic because I want to be there when this happens because I know it's going to happen quick. Sorry, this Blackberry is fucking nuts, man. We called that at $18, guys. $18.50 and $18. We called that short. Shit. That's sick. Uh, AMC is tanking. Okay, let me focus up. So let's go to what happened today on AMC. So AMC yesterday topped out at around $72 and $73. And every time AMC broke the previous day's high of the day, it ramped up at least 10 or 20% after that, minimum. Sometimes it ramped up 50%. So today, when AM, when AMC broke the previous day's high of the day and didn't even go up 10%, I was interested. I said, wait a minute. Maybe the stock is a little bit exhausted. Maybe there's something going on here, right? So that was my first signal. Okay. Stock broke above previous high of the day. Didn't really do anything. Now at 7 a.m., we got an amazing piece of news, guys. We got an amazing piece of news. The news was that AMC is doing an 11 million share offering, okay? 11 million shares, which equates like $700 million. Some insane, insane number. Sorry, I'm getting so much FOMO. Guys, if you are an A, give me a sec. BB, reminder to cover on BlackBerry, guys. Do not be greedy. Cover and reshort if you must. So I'm reminding the members right now that are short BlackBerry to cover along the way so that, you know, you don't get greedy because you could always short the bounce, guys. You would always short the bounce. So even while I'm doing this, I'm trying to guide the members. Wow, AMC is about to go new lows on the day, man. Holy fucking shit, man. Holy shit. That's crazy. Um, I'm losing my train of thought. So we got the bad piece of news that came out at 7 a.m. saying that AMC – is doing an offering again, okay? And the reason why this was a great piece of news is because it was a catalyst. There always needs to be some sort of catalyst for these stocks to reverse. And it doesn't matter that the offering wasn't too big. All that matters is how the market reacted to that offering. And they started selling and selling. And all of a sudden, we went from 70 to 65. Red to green was at 62. So I mentioned to the members in the room, the first test of red to green, I mean, the first test of green to red, do not short it. Do not short it because it has come down so much, so quickly. AMC 39. Well, Bao is going to be mad, but guys, long story short, I am still short AMC. I'm making another $230,000 on this short right here. Wow. Let me cover some of this short. Give me a second, guys. Let's cover some at 3801. Covering, cover some at 3801. Give me a sec. Let me cover some more at 38 if I could get it. All right, I'll put in an order there and then we'll cover it. So, so far, I am up about $700,000 now. So, don't tell about. Anyway, so uh, long story short, when it went red, I told every single person to do not short the first test of red because it is going to bounce because it went down too fast, too quickly. Okay. It's going to bounce. So long story short, guys, I said, I'm going to short that bounce. I shorted 65, 64. Like I mentioned to the guys in the room, I got it then to short 65, 64. It went down all the way to 55. I covered on that trade. I made about a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. And then again, my plan that I mentioned to the guys in the room is I want to short a red to green rejection. And we got a red to green rejection on AMC. I shorted at $60 and I covered all the way down to 48 and 50. And then I reshorted around 50, 50, 150. I covered that. And then now here I am with this other massive short that I need to cover a little bit more of. Give me a second. Okay. But anyway, guys, 
anyway, um, the point is, is that every single day that this stock was moving, I made a plan of attack. I want to make sure I was there early. I want to make sure I didn't miss out on anything. I needed to make sure that I was here and planning my trades. Every single person that woke up at 8 a.m. today missed out on a $100,000 opportunity. That is why I showed up early. That is why I made sure to guide the members. And here I am with my fucking diamond hands, diamond hands shorting this shit because goddamn, this is the best opportunity of the entire year. And I cannot believe that I fucking nailed it like this, man. I nailed it like this. I woke up early. I guided members. We made a plan. And you know what the craziest part is? This was the best short setup ever. The best short setup of the entire year. And I saw other chat rooms going long. What the fuck are you guys doing going long on a stock that is broken and down 40%, guys? 40% this stock is broken and down. And you guys are looking to go long? What the fuck, man? AMC, come on, baby. Bounce to 45. That 38 cover was dead lows, guys. You saw it. Dead low cover at 38. <sighs> Holy shit, man. This is crazy. This is literally my biggest day ever. Fucking 700,000 bones. 700,000. I think I'm going to buy a fucking house, man. What the hell? <sighs> Point is, guys. Point is, this, uh, these are the days that you want to be an MIC. These are the days that you want to be a member. These are the days that you don't want to be fucking cheap about $200. Because right now, if you're cheap about $200, you missed out on fucking half a million dollars, man. Half a million dollars. Well, 700 now. Three fucking quarters of a million, which is crazy. So if you guys are going long AMC today, you guys are in the wrong community. You guys are in the wrong chat room. You guys need to get the hell out of there, right? You guys need to get the hell out of there. So what I'm going to do for you guys today is we still have our Memorial Day sale going on, okay? So if you want to join MIC and look at our chat logs, look at how we traded this stock and see real time our commentary on it. Join using our half off sale. It's on myinvestingclub.com and I'm going to do this for you as well. Tosh, anyone that texts you AMC today at 213-458-5997, discount the annual, discount the lifetime, give them the lowest price ever. Let's give it, let's give it away, guys. Let's all learn together. Let's all do this together. See how we do it. See how we do it for real. This is your fucking chance to learn, guys. There is not going to be another opportunity to learn from mentors that are here literally 30 minutes after their trades teaching you and mentoring you. And oh my God, this thing is tanking. Holy fucking shit. Anyway, guys, I think I got to go because I got to cover the rest of this position. But hit up Tosh, 213-458-5997. Look at how we killed it today. The diamond hands are sick. And the best part is, guys, this is not over yet. Tomorrow, we're going to have an even better short opportunity on the bounce. These stocks are not over yet. So I will see you guys back in the room. You guys better fucking join today. And if you don't join today and you went long today, guys, you got to get out of there. So I will see you guys later.